How long were you together before you got married? We were together for seven years, but he cheated on me with his two best friends' wives. Whoa. Yeah. I got one up for you. Okay. My ex-wife slept with my biological father. <laughs> Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is The Button. I'm Fatia. I am Chris. Chris, nice to How meet you? you. I'm good, I love the watermelon. Oh, thank you so much. So Chris, do you eat oatmeal? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. How often? I don't know. Maybe three times a week. That's an uh, icebreaker. My guy friends told me um, guys that eat oatmeal eat kitty cat. You mean guys that eat oatmeal eat pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true for me. So. It's true for you. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's what I was been told, so, you know. I'm trying to go <laughs> off of that, you know, that sexual chemistry. Oh, I, I feel you on that one. <laughs> so, what do you eat? <laughs> um, I love chicken tenders. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets or chicken tenders? Because tenders are like longer chicken nuggets. I know a lot <laughs> of people who like chicken tenders. All right, so why'd you push it on me? Um, you're just not my type. I'm sorry. That's it was right. really nice to Thank meet you. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I'm not going to use the oatmeal on the next guy now. Oh, you have to. Hi. Right. I'm Fatia. Nice to meet you. Do you two eat oatmeal? Oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. I mean, sometimes. Do you? Do you, Button? I eat a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> I mean, don't see a reason to eat a whole lot of oatmeal when there's other things. That you can eat. eat? Yeah. Would you tell him why you want to know if he eats oatmeal? Uh, my guy friends told me that guys that like to eat oatmeal like to go down on girls. There's, okay, <clears throat> if, if you really want to know if a guy is going to go down on you. Do you drink, by the way? I do. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be doing jello shots. Most people will do jello shots. They'll just take it and they'll squeeze it and no. I, nah, you got to lick it. Take my tongue. Lick it through, and when it comes out, it should be completely clean. Ooh. <laughs> you all right, Button? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little, a little sparky. So how many long-term relationships have you been in, total in your life? Uh, Probably like four or five. Okay. I've been in two long-term relationships. Which one was your marriage? Uh, the longest-term relationship. How long was that? That was uh, 15 years. 15. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And for what? I think you're just a little um, too old. Okay. Yeah. I feel like we had a really good conversation, though. I feel like we did, too. Good luck. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to send in somebody younger. Okay. I'm Fatia. Oh, I'm Moose. Moose? Yeah. Hey. What do you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a huge nerd. Ooh, what okay. kind of nerd, though? I love League of Legends. League of Legends. I okay. go to work, I come home, I make my kids some food, and I league it up. Okay. I'm okay. very much a homebody. I'm not somebody that you would take hiking. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. You probably rejected me because I was going to reject you. Yeah. Why were you going to reject Moose? I was just hoping that like when we connected on like the nerd vibe mm. that you knew what League of Legends was. Oh, I, I do. Oh, okay. I was yeah. hoping that like you could say yeah, something I, like, oh, I, I we'll just, play together or something. I, I'm not a big computer games guy. Oh, I'm more console. console. Okay. Yeah. Console okay. and computer. Terrible match. Get out of here, Fatiha. <laughs> it was nice Get to meet you. I thought you two were a good match. Me too. If only you liked League of Legends. I, I haven't played it before. Oh, goodness. What did I sign up for? Hi, my name is Moose. Oh, I'm Brie. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, it's a childhood nickname. I've had my ghost spurt. And a moose was the closest that was? Oh, yeah, yeah, the way I got it is uh, when I walked in front of the TV, my dad was like, oh, it's like seeing a moose cross the freeway because I covered the entire TV. And my oh, mom was like, I like that. Cute, that's cute. So uh, on a Friday night, what are you doing? 
It's summer right now, mm -hmm. so like I like to be at the range, golf the, range. Oh, I thought I thought you meant like gun range. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, mm. uh, how far can you drive a ball? It depends on how much liquor I've had. Uh, <laughs> so you get drunk and you hit ball. Ah! Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not going out there unless there is liquor. Moose was a butt tender for four years. <laughs> I think the button knows that I took a smoke break. <laughs> Earlier today. <laughs> Bree, are you back with us fully? I mean, I smoke a lot of weed, so there's always a little bit of haze. <laughs> I love weed. I'm actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Mm. Uh, so anything to calm my mind when I'm uh, going through my manic episodes, it helps. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I have ADHD, uh -huh. like fairly bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know how your mania and my mania okay. would mesh. Because I can be very, like, oh. manic sometimes. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. I should have finished my mimosa. Hi, my name is Aro. Bree. Nice to meet you. How old are you? That was quick. Dang, I'm 35. I mean, we ain't got all day. <laughs> how old are you? 28. 28? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any children? I do have children. I have uh, twins, and I have two from a prior marriage. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about you? You have any kids? I do. Okay. Yeah. Would you ever have any more children? I do want some more, because uh, right now their mom actually lives in Minnesota. Oh, wow. So it's rare that I get to see them, and that's yeah. the main thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> RL1. Why did you press it? Um, I just didn't feel like you were vibing. <laughs> yeah. I said that, and you just weren't, you just weren't vibing with it. Uh, I just didn't want more kids. Sorry. I feel bad now. Why? I'm not a person that does well with rejection, and I just had to reject somebody, so I kind of feel bad. How's it going? Hello. How you doing? I'm Megan. Aro, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what's your favorite snack? Favorite snack? I have a four peas, Peachios, oh. popcorn, Pepsi, and pickles. Okay. Got to eat them all together. Okay, all together? <laughs> What's your favorite snack then? Since that was really mm. judgmental on my part. <laughs> Probably hot Cheetos. Oh, hot, Cheetos. hot Cheetos. Yeah. Get the red fingertips. No, I use. Uh, <laughs> you, you got those little. I use chopsticks. Things. Okay, look at okay. you being clean. <laughs> it's not that I don't like getting my hands dirty. It's just I just like using chopsticks. Though. Megan, how do you feel about dating men with kids? Well, I'm not gonna have any kids. So, mm. are you, do you have kids? I do have kids. I have twins. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you want kids? Cause I'm already 40 years old. I probably can't even have them at this point. So that's the biggest reason. Understandable. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh. Hi there. Hello, How are you? There. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, what do you do for work? I am a coordinator for window and door installation. So basically, I'm a grown man babysitter. <laughs> I just boss grown men around to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. What about you? Um, I'm a supervisor at a sawmill. Are you uh, good with your hands, gentlemen? <laughs> I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> what kind of things are you into? I'll be honest, I'm fairly lame. I spend a lot of time with my dog. What kind of dog do you have? He's just a scruffy terrier mutt. Okay. I yeah. think he's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Why did you button me? Just not my type. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have a good What's one. What's your type? Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> we just weren't clicking. Tell me when he's gone. He's gone. What's your type? I don't know. Just not the hat. <laughs> what attracts you? Honestly, I don't know. It's like porn. You like can't describe it. You just know it when you see it. Do you watch porn? I do. What do you like? Hey, how you doing? What did I just walk hey, in on? Hold on. I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Michael. <laughs> nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. So, do you watch porn? Is that what she asked? Yeah. <laughs> watch, watch porn. I mean, usually, honestly, it's a little girl on girl sometimes. Okay. I can't really watch girl on girl. You don't like it? Not, not for me. You got to feel I mean, like you're in it. Ex exactly. I have to watch, if I'm going to watch porn, I have to watch something that yeah, I can that feel like I'm a part of. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, That's it's, why I like girl on girl, because guys in the porn, they're usually like, you're doing too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what what would you say was like the worst thing that happened to you on a date? On a date? Wait, I don't think that I've ever had like, well, except for one guy that was like, I'm an entrepreneur, da, 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 I do that. He was unemployed. <laughs> so basically, he was unemployed. He was poor and a liar. Yeah. 
Megan has never dated anyone older than her. How old are you, Mike? I am 40. I'm 42. See, perfect. Yeah, you you, you don't look 40 at all. Older? Neither do you. Yeah, it's a blessing. <laughs> it is. It's a black don't crack. <laughs> you ever dated black men? I have a couple, but mainly I've dated generic white men. <laughs> generic? What is a generic white man? You know, brown hair, light eyes, beard. It's obviously not served me well. <laughs> all right. So you would be open to branching out in... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just whoever I have a vibe with. So how long you been single? Uh, well, I've been divorced for like six years. Oh. We were together for seven years, and then we got married. We were married for two, but he cheated on me with his two best friends' wives. Well, I found out about one. Wait, whoa. Yeah. I got one up for you. Oh. My ex-wife slept with my biological father. <laughs> no. <laughs> and two of my homeboys. All in within like six months. <laughs> Talk about trauma. Yeah. You two find it hard to trust people now? Sometimes I can be very afraid. I feel like the last person that I uh, was heavily involved with, I ran away from it, even though I knew that this person was a safe space for me. That's what I say that it's ruined like trust for me, but then I get fucked over again. So obviously I'm giving away the trust. Yeah, but you can't. Too quickly. And, and <laughs> I think it's, once we get older, you kind of like, you can't, you learn that you can't really put everybody in that same category. Yeah, you can't you gotta make give some, them a chance. And, yeah, you can't make the next person pay for what the last person did. Yeah. Are you too attracted to one another? Yeah, I say yeah. yeah. I just like the, the the good back and forth. Being able to have a conversation is a very yeah. important thing to me. Yeah. So being not able to have a conversation. Too awkward. No, it's not awkward at all. <laughs> yeah. It's not awkward at all. And the transparency. You like, I just feel like you're genuinely being you. Yeah. So yeah, I, I enjoy See, it. Would you trust each other enough to go on a second date? Yeah. I would. Absolutely. I'm gonna go red one more time. Okay. Right. Nobody presses me. I'm gonna consider this a match. Okay. All right. All right. See, I've seen this too many times where they press it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's good for color. <laughs> oh my God, you two are going on a second date paid for by us. Well, paid for by me. <laughs> and the button. Thank you, Baller button. Baller button, thank you. <laughs>